Hey everyone, so today we're going to answer the question of how much you should be practicing. And of course, as you can tell, this question can't really be answered without first asking you uh, really what are your goals. And I think for most people it's either to improve as their primary goal, um, but for a lot of players... You know, maybe it's rainy season, like the one we have now in, in San Jose. Um, it may be just to maintain. Uh, so that's just, a, it's a good way to think about. Also, we're going to factor a few things in, like uh, what are you doing in those practices to either improve or maintain? And then what is your overall level? Um, so let's kick things off by talking about um, this, each specific goal. If you're trying to improve, generally speaking, um, three to four times a week is probably necessary. Definitely, definitely not less than. If you're playing two times a week, it's going to be difficult. Now, it is interesting because there are players who play five, six, or seven, and have very diminishing returns. If you're not working on new things or training properly. Um, there's that old saying, I, I'm sure it's very cliche, but I heard Tony Robbins say it a long time ago. It's not practice that's, that makes perfect. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. So, Will you improve? So, I mean, it's a good question to even think, will you improve at one time a week? Um, and let's use like a theoretical example. Let's say someone played one time a week uh, since they were five years old and now they're 25. Well, obviously you would, you're not getting worse if you played that one time a week if you never picked up a tennis racket. You've obviously gotten a lot better. You're probably pretty decent at the game, assuming you are out there and learning the game properly and your fundamentals. But every time you come back, let's say after just playing one or two times a week or taking a, you know, even a five, six or longer type of layoff, and let's say you want to go into a match, well, you're going to feel a little rusty. Your timing is going to feel off. And in fact, if you take too long of a layoff, it's really tough to come back that first day and feel like you can work on new things and get better. Because most times, the things that you're working on are, are more specific. Whereas, let's say, watching the ball, tracking, getting your feet in a position, those are things that more so tend to fix themselves by playing a lot. So, obviously, you're going to have that rest coming back each and every time. Let's say you take a, a week or more layoff. So that's definitely not recommended for improving. That's why I recommend, at, uh, you know, a three or four as a healthy range for improvement. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, but okay, but just want to say, if you're only playing one time a week, that's better than playing none. Like I said, person playing one time a week every day in their life, yeah, they're pretty. Uh, sorry, every since they were born, uh, they're going to be pretty proficient at the game, and they're going to have see there a huge improvement in their skills obviously over the course of a decade plus um, compared to the person who's never touched a racket it obviously takes years to catch up to the person who played one time a week for for 20 years um, but I want you to consider the other end of the spectrum playing you know let's say every day um, so many players practice the same old thing and while you might have dramatic improvements at first, let's say players end up going to uh, some of these academies, you know, in Florida that, you know, these boarding type of academies. And I mean, I, I've seen people have tremendous results and I've also seen uh, players back in my junior days go to these academies and come back. And I'm like, wow, they didn't, they really didn't improve much for playing you know, for tripling their time on court. Um, so, so that's a big thing is when you, 
when you increase every we're on on this logarithmic curve here where we're leveling off here and um for this asymptotic curve so when when players play more they they can move along the curve faster but if you're not learning new things and extending that curve up and up and up then you're gonna keep seeing diminishing returns for for whatever you're doing now if you're doing everything perfect already and you're you're Roger Federer and you're you're hitting from here to here well that's you know then you're winning you know two more grand slams a year so that's not the example that that is typical um but that's assuming you're you're doing things right so still if you're practicing a lot making sure that remember learning is a balance between uh practice and theory and and getting that 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 feedback cycle as, quick, as fast as possible so you should even after every session or two or even a couple sessions come back to the drawing board and, and say where what skills am i weak at and what specific skills am i going to go out and and work on that particular day So I want to hit the brakes on, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but look, I think maintenance for most competitive players, probably two times a week. If you're, if you're, you know, improving, it's three or four times a week. Um, you know, but having at least one or two of those days, like at one or two of those days a week with a focus practice, obviously if you come work with me in person, it's like we're focused on something very specific. If you're just going out and playing matches and just hitting rat, you know, a lot of balls and not thinking about it, even if you scale that up to five or six, you may see improvement start to slow. If you're a highly competitive junior, let's say you're, you know, uh, top hundred in the nation junior or like a highly competitive adult player, I even consider, you know, four or five and up, you know, pretty competitive. Um, you you know you probably need to be in that you know three to four a day range minimum and again for a very competitive junior those guys you know you got to be in that five six range um and if you're anything under three or four you're probably not even maintaining and and that is a tough part to keep the sword sharp when you're um and even though keeping the sword sharp is less important for like long long-term development um, it's very important to be able to gear up for that particular weekend that you get more touches, more playing in. Because just the feeling of the ball, just your re reflexes, just being, you know, you're getting your feet in sync, um, feeling the conditions for that day, uh, it all makes a big difference. This rainy season has been a tough one for a lot of people. A lot of people will get exposed in, during the rainy season or long periods if they can't play if the game has been been carried um it's been kind of upheld just by being sharp um, if you don't have the right fundamentals you won't be able to step in after a week or two layoff and be able to get it back in a, in, in two or three days right things are going to feel different every day and so that's why i do stress the importance of again making sure you're not only getting better just playing more um but playing enough if you're coming back and from the game, you haven't touched a racket in a while, and I know this is less of the players who watch this channel, um, you really don't even need to play more than three times a week coming back. Like if you go out and your body is very sore, um, definitely take the day off. It, it, if you're super sore playing five or six days a week, I don't think that would necessarily, unless you're looking to push your fitness level to, the, to, the, to a higher standard, I don't think playing, you know, six or seven days type of thing will help your dentist comp compared to playing, you know, even four or five or even three if you're really out of shape. You know, just do the most you can. Um, again, I break down three areas of technical, physical, and mental. As long as all three are going up, you know, as, as fast as they can, you're in good shape. And for the frequency one, for this, for the physical uh, category, um, if you're... If you're sore, even at you know three times a week, then just cap it at that. You're still going to do a huge amount uh, for your improvement. And again, that's for players typically with a long layoff and coming back. So 
again, um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll catch you on the next question. And post your questions below if you if you have any. I'll be answering more in this type of format uh, in the future.